Well, it rained all day again, so I'm stuck indoors working. So I'm back to my machine after about eight days of absence. And now I'm working on the watering system. So I've got this piece of pipe, which was for a basketball net, the kind you have on your driveway that's weighted down with a sand weight so the wind is supposed to not blow it over. And I've taken a grinder and I've cut a long slit in it. And that's going to go underneath the frame. That's why I have the jack there, because I was holding it in place. And that's going to distribute the water. Maybe I'll have to cut a wider slot. I just did it with a grinding wheel. But I'll have to see how well it distributes. Then, it's going to have two of these spigot valves. I mean, it's going to have two of these ball valves underneath to feed it from both sides. I've already made the fuel cap, or the, the water cap. It's really hard to find the caps anymore that you screw on to plumbing fixtures, like thick pipe, so people must make bombs out of them, so I had to use a lawnmower cup, like a Tecumseh starter cup, to make a cap so you can get some grip on it when you're using it. Welded up all the holes on the tank. Now I'm just ready to weld the two spigots on to attach those ball valves. Okay. We've got more progress. I've been welding all day because it rained as you can see. But things have sprouted and we popped up a beautiful weed. <laughs> Look, she's pretty sweet. Anyways, let's get back to uh, business. I left it a little bit unfinished to show you my engineering. There's that pipe I showed you that had the slots cut in it to put the curtain of water across the ground when we're lubricating the track. Now, of course, I left a space here because good engineering, everything flexes, even though this tank is welded to the frame in a rigid way, and that pipe is welded to the frame in a rigid way, everything flexes. So there's no way I could weld the pipe from here to here solidly. So I got some rad hose, which I just have to slip down there, put a couple clamps on, and there's a half inch there, so it's got a flex joint. So that'll never cause a fracture in the future. So it's just old rad hose I save from every car that I scrap. Of course, exactly the same thing on the other side. Just gotta slip it down. Oh, that one's a little tighter. And the pipe is securely welded on. I got really busy with my welder today and it's got seat belts. And they work. And these are the kind that if the vehicle jerks or moves or sways, they lock up. And even seat belts for the suicide seat. Cool. Well, it might not be a suicide seat now if there's almost no chance of dying. <laughs> well, anyways, well, that's what I did today because it rained all day. And now Jay's here and he's waiting for his trailer to show up tomorrow so he can join the fun. Can't wait. Join the cult! So I'm sure you're still all wondering how I'm going to fill that sucker. Well, that's pretty damn easy. This is called a transfer pump. Hadn't used it since the 90s, but I thought it used to be 5 horsepower, but I was wrong. It's a 3.5. That's good enough. And it's a 95 model. So all I do, I had have all the hoses for it. I just got to find it in that sea of junk or find them and that's how we're going to fill this thing up we just park it beside my pond which is filling right now and fire that thing up run the hose into the spigot I showed you that I built and we're all set sweet but I don't even think we need to lubricate the track this weekend it rained for the last three days